right, good afternoon. I'm Assistant Sheriff Charles Hank, and I'm here to provide additional t details as we know them today about the officer-involved shooting that occurred on August 11, 2018. We've had a tough week at Metro with five officer-involved shootings in seven days. In each of these cases, our officers have been confronted by armed individuals willing to inflict harm on citizens and our officers. As Assistant Sheriff Zimmerman said yesterday, our officers' actions are dictated by the suspect's actions. Our investigation has revealed that the event we are discussing today is a case of isolated workplace violence. The suspect is an employee who appears to have snapped after a verbal argument with a coworker. In this incident, we are extremely lucky that no citizens or officers were injured. As you know, this occurred at a busy department store on Saturday, the weekend before the first day of school. The store and the entire strip mall were packed with people, and the suspect in this event showed absolutely no regard for the safety of anyone in the area. I believe our officer involved in this shooting acted courageously and with impressive accuracy based on the distance of the shots fired. I will now provide the details of the officer-involved shooting. This is officer-involved shooting number 15, non-fatal number seven for 2018. The same time last year, we were at officer-involved shooting number 16, non-fatal number nine. The date and time of the call is August 11th, 2018, at 4.15 p.m. The type of call is an assault battery with a gun, in this case, actually an active shooter event. The location of the officer-involved shooting is 4000 Blue Diamond Road at the Ross Dress for Less. The time of the officer-involved shooting, shots fired is approximately 4.19 p.m. The officer involved is Brian Benitsky. He is a 47, 47 year old, he's 47 years old and has been with the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department 19 years. He's assigned to the Community Policing Division at Enterprise Area Command. In this incident, Officer Benitsky was armed with a Glock 17 nine millimeter handgun equipped with a tactical light. The investigation revealed he fired five rounds. Officer Beninsky was wearing his body-worn camera and it was activated during this event. The suspect is Mohammed Abdullah Mahmoud. He is 37 years old, Middle Eastern male, adult, six foot two, 240 pounds. Mahmoud is pictured to my left. The suspect has no criminal history. Mahmoud's charges are attempt murder with deadly weapon, five counts, assault with deadly weapon on protected person, two counts, assault with deadly weapon, three counts, and discharging a firearm into an occupied structure. Those are the nature of the charges at this time in the investigation. Mahmoud's weapon is a Beretta PX4 Storm 9mm. Mahmoud fired a total of 16 rounds, eight inside of the store and eight outside of the store. The details of the shooting. On Saturday, August 11, 2018, Mahmoud was working as a loss prevention greeter at the Ross Dress for Less located at 4000 Blue Diamond Road. As a matter of store policy, customers are not permitted to take shopping carts out of the store. However, a customer left a shopping cart near the entrance as she went to retrieve her car to put her purchase items inside her vehicle. Mahmoud got angry about the customer leaving the cart. 
Over the employee radio system, a store manager told Mahmoud to stop complaining. Mahmoud approached the manager and they got into a verbal altercation. After an employee attempted to intervene, excuse me, another employee attempted to intervene, at which point Mahmoud took his work vest off, threw it on the ground, then pointed at the two co-workers and stated, I'll kill you both. At this time, Mahmoud left the store, walked out to his vehicle, and retrieved his handgun. As Mahmoud, Mahmoud walked back towards the store, he fired in the parking lot, causing citizens to run for cover. The suspect then entered the store and fired around into the ceiling. Mahmoud tracked down the manager and fired two more rounds at her. Mahmoud walked back towards the front of the store and fired five more rounds in the direction of the manager who was running. At approximately 4.14 p.m., multiple citizens called the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department dispatch to report an active shooter at that location. At approximately 4.17 p.m., the first officer arrived as Mahmoud exited the store. Mahmoud fired several rounds at the arriving officer. Officer Beninsky arrived at approximately 4.19 p.m. and Mahmoud fired rounds at him. Officer Beninsky exited his patrol vehicle and took cover behind a palm tree over 50 yards away from Mahmoud. Approximately five seconds later, Officer Beninsky fired five rounds at Mahmoud, striking him once causing him to fall to the ground. Two off-duty Metro officers and an off-duty Nye County Sheriff's deputy were nearby and helped take Mahmoud into custody with Officer Beninsky. The suspect was transported to UMC where he underwent surgery and is currently in stable condition. Mahmoud is still in hospital and was booked in absentia for the aforementioned charges. I'd like to mention, we do have a considerable amount of video from this event, from within the store and outside the store, that we're reserving at this time for the effective prosecution of the suspect. However, at this time, we will now play 911 calls from this event. Please keep in mind, there were over three and a half hours of 911 calls coming in, and this that are related to this event. This time we'll, sh we'll listen to the 911 calls. At last, I'm going to Okay, so you're, you're leaving there, correct? No. 
Sorry, we've got many people calling, so thank you so much for giving us a call, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, we'll now, we'll now show you footage from Officer Benetsky's body-worn camera. Keep in mind before we play this, immediately as he stops and exits his vehicle, the suspect opens fire on him. If you listen closely, you'll hear the two rounds being fired by the officer before he takes cover, as he takes cover and returns fire. Go ahead, Carlos. Is he out here shooting? Where's he at? Where's he at? He's sitting down under the rock. Push your 45 guys. Push your 44 shots fired. Suspect down in front of Ross, low medical. Okay, I'll now open it up for questions. So there were no people around by the time officers showed up, right, like citizens? There were still numerous citizens within the parking lot. Some of them were exiting, exiting neighboring stores that uh, appeared not to be aware of what was going on. So there was a host of citizens within that parking lot still when the officers arrived. Uh, he was struck once. Was it one of the later rounds having to defend him uh, I believe it was one of the, the, the latter rounds that, he, that our officer fired. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, he was stu struck on the right hip area. And I know there was a lot of chaos in that fog that day with people, a lot of people taking such topics for back to school. Tell me what the process was, was like for Metro in terms of getting people to safety and getting some people evacuated and locking down other stores. Uh, yeah, our, our officers did a great job with that. They, they actually gathered up uh, the witnesses, ensured people were safe. Uh, we, we notified uh, folks in the area to, uh, as you just stated, lock down those stores to, to stay within the store. Uh, once we had ensured that everyone was safe, the suspect was in custody, uh, we then gathered up those witnesses. Uh, we pulled in additional resources uh, from other area commands to assist in uh, gathering and processing those witnesses. We also had our emergency management team uh, come out and provide uh, water and, and ice and things like that. Did you say he fired uh, rounds when he was, before he went in? Was it outside to like, the sky or anywhere in particular? I'm not exactly sure where they were fired, sir, but he did fire. There, there are reports and evidence that he fired outside. So was he fired or were they just arguing because somebody challenged his authority? He, they engaged in an argument uh, in relationship, as I stated, regarding the uh, placement of shopping cart. Uh, it appeared he didn't want that lady to leave it there. Uh, the manager, uh, basically admonished him over the radio system. Uh, she then came up, they engaged in an argument. He went outside, retrieved his handgun, came back in, shot, went in the store, and basically went after her and uh, shot at her as well as shot within the store several times. Yes, sir. Approximately how many videos of this incident do you have? I don't have an exact count right now, sir. Uh, I know there's at least two or three others. How long had he worked at the store? I do not know that at this time. Do you know if they'd ever had any problems with him before? What we've been told, there, there had been no other problems that we were aware of. Was there another? Sir. Uh, I already saw on that tape. Uh, how far back is your officer to that individual? I mean, it's hard to tell if it's a wide lens, but can you have some distance to that tape? It's approximately 53 yards. And then do you know what this job was he acquired to have a sheriff's car to be a lot, uh, as an LP? officer of the store or an LP person of the store at all? Anymore? I'm not aware of that requirement uh, for him at that store, no sir. The rounds inside, uh, do investigators believe they were just targeting that specific person? And can you speak about if uh, he wasn't targeting a specific person, what kind of damage he could have done? We know for certain he was shooting at her. Uh, we're still investigating and processing uh, evaluating all the evidence to confirm where exactly he was sh uh, shooting. I don't want to state that he was only selecting one person when in fact he may have been shooting at multiple people at that time. There were a variety of people in danger and exposed to this threat as this person went in and started shooting. I don't know if you mentioned it, uh, does he legally own the guns? 
It was purchased legally, yes, sir. Are there any other questions? Anyone else? Yes, sir. No, no, no criminal history. All right, thank you. Have a good day.